the smart line tool. You can either get it in your main toolbar at the top here, you left click and, and hold it down, play smart line, or if you go to your construction tools, you can get it here also, play smart line. Now, there's a few different settings in your play smart line tool that we need to discuss. First off is your segment type. You got lines and arcs. We're just going to leave this set to lines. There's another tool in MicroStation for the arcs that works out a little bit better, so we'll just leave it set to lines. Next one that we have is your vertex type. You got three different types there. You have sharp, rounded, and chamfered. Also down below here you have an option that says join elements. And this is where if you have a line string that you want to tie together and keep them as one line string, that's where the join elements would come into effect. So they'll stay as one line string. So if you move it later on or if you delete it or copy it, it's going to treat it as one element. If you have that unchecked, it's going to place all your lines or if you have your vertex type set to rounded, it's going to set that line, the arc, and then the line as all separate items. So kind of keep that in mind, depending on if you want the join elements turned on or if you want it turned off. Depends on what situation that you have. Now, show you how the tool works. It's very simple. Down below here, it's going to say in your status bar, enter, enter first vertex, where you want to start the line at. So we'll just left click once on your mouse and then now as you pull your mouse up it's going to ask where is your next vertex type where's your next vertex where you want to end the line at so we'll go up here and we'll just arbitrarily just showing you how the tool works we'll left click to drop it off and now it's going to want to keep going so if you keep going keep left clicking of course it's going to keep placing that line out there until you right click to reset the tool so I'll right click to reset the tool and now my line has been constructed now since I had my join elements checked on and I go back to my element selection tool you'll notice as I hover over top of it and I select it it's going to treat it as one element so if I move it delete it or whatever it's going to do it to that whole entire line string if I would have done it the other way I'll go back to my smart line tool and I come in here and uncheck this and I'll left click, left click, left click, left click, right click to reset it and then now I do the same thing you notice that my lines are separated out so it depends on what situation that you have if you want it checked on or checked off on that join elements portions of it I'm going to go ahead and delete those out We'll talk about the element selection tools later on. I'll go back to my linear elements toolbar and I'll just go ahead and leave that checked on for right now. You also you can change your vertex type and we'll say we go to rounded. So instead of a sharp, it's going to be a rounded vertex. You got your rounding radius depending on what you want. Um, I'll just set it to 10 for this example. And now I'll do the same thing. I'll left click to start my line, left click go to the next point and then now you'll notice as I move my mouse to go to the next point it's going to be a rounded vertex so I'll left click to um, place it now one thing about the vertex type depending on what your rounding radius is if it gets too sharp like right now it's able to build that rounded radius but if I get too close to my other line here you'll notice that it's going to automatically jump back to my sharp vertex type because it cannot build that radius that you have identified right here okay so I'll left click to place it if I'm finished with it I'll right click to reset it and now I'm finished of course it's all joined together as one line string and then last but not least is my chamfered so if I come in here change that I'll change my chamfered offset to I'll just use 5 for this example. I'll left click to start it. Left click to go to my next point. And now you'll notice that it's automatically going to build a chamfer 5 units back, 5 units forward to build that chamfer. 
right click to reset it and now we're finished that's the play smart line tool another thing about the play smart line tool that I forgot to mention and I'll go ahead and just delete those out and I'll come back to the tool is if I go and use my vertex type to sharp let's say I come in here and I'll left click to begin my line and I'll left click to go to this point and I'll on this next one right here let's say I want it rounded I can change these on the fly I come in here and I can change it to rounded and it will change it automatically for me just like what it did there or if I want to change it back to sharp I change it to sharp go to my next point maybe I want to go back to rounded for this next one just like that right click to reset it and you're finished so while you're using the tool you can change these on the fly if you want to change it also.